Oh wow, did Christmas come a little bit early for the real estate market this year? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. I have been fortunate to be working with buyers and sellers and investors in the Sacramento real estate market, gosh, for 17 years now. Um, and I just love doing real estate. This is a monthly market update that I do every single month. This update is for December, 2023, January, 2024. Happy new year. Uh, wow. We're going to get into talking about interest rates, but first let's talk about what happened in the market in November. And then we'll talk about what's going on right now and kind of moving forward. All right. So let's throw the stats up. November, 2023. It's for Sacramento County area. Okay, listings published this month. There's less than 900 new listings. That's down by almost 20% from October. So hardly new any new listings coming on, even less than this time last year, 2% less than a year ago. Uh, active listing inventory, that is what is currently available right at this moment in time, less than 1,300 homes. That is down almost 10% from a month ago, and that's down 30% less available homes right now than we had a year ago at this time. There's not a whole lot of new mar listings coming on the market. There's not a whole lot available. And as we see in the pendings, there's not a whole lot of sales going on either. It's kind of low supply meets low demand still right now. 855 pendings basically even with a month ago, that's down 7.4% from a year ago. So what does that translate to? Well, if you don't have a whole lot of pendings going on, you don't have a whole lot of closed escrows. So November was a very slow month for closings. That's because those people were looking at roughly 8% interest rates at that time. A lot of buyers backed out of the market in October um, where these closings occurred from and closed in November. So we had less than 700 properties close in November. That's down 16% from a month ago. That's down 11% from a year ago. So very low number of closed escrows. That comes out to about 1.9 months worth of inventory. Um, that's still kind of leaning a bit in the seller's favor at below two months worth of inventory, but there's just not a whole lot of buyers out there. So it's a very mixed bag market because of the higher interest rates, because of the low buyer demand, prices have slumped a little bit and that's normal for this time of year. We see the median went down to 525. It's 4% less than it was in October. That's pretty common, normal for this time of year. Pricing usually drops a bit, November, December, January, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but it is up about 3% from a year ago. So, those numbers, man, they look a little on the depressing side of things. It's just been, that's like magnified what this year has been like uh, as far as just rates have been on the higher side of things. So because of that, buyers have been kind of, eh, I'm not that thrilled with moving forward. I'm not so, so excited about an 8% interest rate. Additionally, sellers, once they sell something, most of them got to go and buy something else. They're usually you know, moving up in property, moving to a different school district, relocating, those types of things. Well, there's a lot of people that have a 3% mortgage right now and they're going, yeah, we would love to have a fourth bedroom or yeah, we'd love to have 500 more square feet or yeah, we'd love to have a pool, but I don't wanna go from a 3% mortgage to an 8% mortgage, so I'm not listing my house for sale. So we've got a lot of buyers that aren't really that moving forward and excited about things and we got a lot of sellers that aren't really just putting their house on the market as well we could see that in the numbers that we just shared right there it's just been kind of a slow go this year um, which has been interesting because that has caused pricing to kind of just not move a whole lot usually when you don't have much inventory prices are going to be shooting up but we don't have a lot of buyers usually when there's no buyers prices would be dropping it's kind of the two mixing with each other and it's just sort of bumping along right now. Now, as I'm shooting this video a little bit before Christmas, rates have just plummeted. Uh, I mean, we were at 8% a few weeks ago. We're now at 6.6% 6 .6 right now. 
that is going to be the grease that gets the gears moving in this market. I've been talking about this for months. I've been talking this about for a year. The wild card in this market right now is interest rates and interest rates have now moved into an extremely more favorable number than they have been in the recent past. And that's gonna start getting buyers to be moving forward with purchases. Holy smokes, this house, it would have cost me $150 more a month a couple weeks ago, I'm ready to move forward on it now. I wanna get going and get this locked in now. Uh, additionally, if rates stay in those mid sixes or even come lower, we're probably gonna finally start to see sellers start to go, okay, I'm willing to bite the bullet and go from three to six. I'll get my house on the market. And I think that's really gonna get things start moving. So kind of crystal ball, it's cloudy, but going off of experience, going off a of kind of gut feel, I think what's gonna happen is January, we're gonna to start to see buyers come back to the market, but we're not gonna see a whole lot of new homes yet come available. And so we're probably gonna to start to see some buyer activity real early, maybe some buyer competition, January, February, March, because it's gonna take a few months before those sellers start to put their houses on the market. That's kind of what I'm guessing. Uh, I think there's gonna be a number of buyers that are gonna to wanna to get in and lock in that rate along with kind of the seasonally lower pricing before that competition really starts to maybe potentially ramp up pricing as we head into the end of winter, beginning of spring. Traditionally, that's when pricing starts to rebound, go back up because of buyer competition and all those good things. So hope this makes sense to you. If you've got any questions, reach out to me. Uh, Doug Reynolds, my website is realestatewithdoug.com. I can help anybody with buyers, sellers, investors in the Sacramento area. I look forward to talking to you soon and clear skies.